Hey there, my name is Rich Finelli, and in this sixth video in my Handlebars training series, we'll talk about and use the if-else block helpers that are built into Handlebars. Okay, here is our Game of Thrones website. I did add a character, Darner Daenerys Targaryen. I may add a new character every now and then to keep this uh, interesting. One issue that we have right now that we want to solve is, you know, we don't have data for every data point. For each character. So for Tyrion Lannister, we don't know his whereabouts, or at least we don't have that data. Same thing for Bran of Tarth, Eddard Stark, Sandor, Clegane. What I might want to do is, maybe if we don't know the whereabouts, not show this field at all. So here's how we can do that. We can do that with the if-else block helper. So it's built right into handlebars. And what we could do here is we can can add our double curly braces and do if and then it takes an option and the option is uh, a name of one of your properties so locations so we're saying if location evaluates to true we're gonna render everything after that we have to close it too so we'll do a slash if to close it hashtag if to start it slash if to close it it looks a lot like this each helper and that's kind of the format a lot of helpers follow. So now, let's see if that works. And we can see for Tyrion, Brienne, Eddard, um, the whereabouts field doesn't show up. For Sandor it does, and we'll look at why that is. So for him, he's got a location defined, which is unknown, a string. Um, so that's no different than putting in Marine really as far as JavaScript is aware of, and especially handlebars. So what does evaluate to, to false, really? What evaluates to false is undefined, so Tyrion's um, whereabouts wasn't showing up. Null evaluates to false. And th this is really convenient. Even an empty string evaluates to false. But uh, unknown as a string won't. What I kind of like to do is use false. That's kind of my favorite because it's, you know, it makes it really stand out as, okay, we don't have this information. And then my next favorite thing is to just remove that property altogether. And that also evaluates the false. So now we should see for Sandor, his whereabouts field disappears. And Eddard Starks, the one that we changed to false, the Boolean, uh, also remains hidden. Or really, it's not even hidden. It's just that paragraph tag didn't render. You know, anything inside this if only renders if evaluates to true. So what else can we do though? We can say, okay, well, maybe we do want this to show up. And if the location's blank, we just want to say, you know, unknown in that case, maybe that is our desired outcome. So we can add the else. This is a lot like a JavaScript if statement. We're just adding the else conditional. So we're just saying else unknown. And we'll have to move the closing if statement now inside of the paragraph. And the opening if statement also inside the paragraph, but a little bit farther in. Because now we're really only uh, worried about the value of that field. And if the value is anything that, re that evaluates to false, it's now going to show unknown. So let's take a look at that. And that works like a charm. Um, there is one other thing you can do with an if statement. Is what we can do is we can say, all right, well, if well, we could say, you know, with the JavaScript if statement, you can have if condition one do something. If that evaluates to false, then you have if condition two. If that evaluates to false, then you have your else. So what we could do is we could say, well, if we don't know the location, um, then let's see if we have, so we can do else if, we can see if we have the house. So else if house, and then in here we can say, okay, well, let's show the house then. And now for everyone, uh, well, that broke. So what did we do wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I got it reversed. It should be if else. Oh. 
it really should be else if. And there you go, that works. So now, if the whereabouts field is evaluating the false, now we're showing the house field. So we have an else if condition. And we could put in as many as we want here. And let's do this for Sandor, let's remove his house. And that way that evaluates the false. And he should have the, uh, he should fall into the final else clause, which should render the word unknown. And yes, that does. And since we removed house, that doesn't show up for him. So that's how you can use your if else statement in handlebars.